Welcome to our tutorial on how to use the Texas A&M online model for the 2014 Farm Bill. To use this decision aid, you may need your FSA Form 156 Easy, FSA Reported Crop History Summary, and past crop insurance records. To get started, please go to the web address www.afpc.tamu.edu slash models slash decision aid dot php. Once there, you'll see this screen. Click I agree at the bottom in blue to get started. The first thing you'll need to do is get registered. Go ahead and click register and fill in the information. Don't forget to keep your password saved in a safe spot so you can come back and work on this in the future. Once you've got your information in, choose which type of account you'll need. Producer farmer or multi-client user. A firm that has multiple farms operating independent of each other would select multi-client user. Check that you understand the terms and disclaimers and let's get started. Here we are on the home page. The first thing you need to do is add a new farm unit. Click on the green button and it will open a new screen for us. This new page is where you input all the crucial information in order to make the right decision for you. Get started with your farm name and description. Farm name. Remember, if you have any questions along the way, you can come back and refer to this video or click on the little black question mark for additional information. So let's go through this together. Start by filling in your FSA number. This can be found on the FSA Reported Commodity Crop History Form under Farm Number. Then select your crop. If you have multiple crops, don't worry, we'll show you how to record all of them. Just pick one to get started. Fill in your state, country, crop type, and practice. Next, you will enter the counter cyclical yield and base acreage, which can be found on the FSA reported crop history form. Next, you will input the basis, which is the price received for the crop minus the harvest time futures price. You could typically use a 0.25 for corn and 0.25 for soybeans. Next, you will input your actual production history yield, which can be found through your insurance agency or by going to http forward slash forward slash farm doc dot Illinois dot edu forward slash crop ins slash index slash dot ASP. Then you will put the insurance type and coverage level and last on this page is entering the future expected planted acres for that crop. Now that you've got this page filled out, let's go ahead and click save and enter yields. Don't worry if it isn't perfect you can go back and tweak it later. Here you will input the historical yields and planted prevented acreage of the crop being produced. This data is also on your FSA records. Please note, it is important to fill out as far back as you can to ensure more reliable in outcomes. Now you're back at the home page. Remember we mentioned you can add more than one crop? Here's your opportunity. Go ahead and add another new farm unit by clicking the green button. You've got your information carefully entered now. If you have any questions, you can add a comment below or can shoot us an email at boone18 at purdue.edu. The next step is to understand what to do, and that's our next tutorial in our series. You can go ahead and check that out by searching for output instruction or clicking on the link below. Thanks for watching.